Hello there, everybody, on a Tuesday or a Wednesday, depending on where you are in the world. Amber Hawkins, your computer needs a Toledo LLC celebrating number 17. One seven. A computer training more that comes to you. Any questions? Your computer needs .net and click on the contact link. There are other ways you can contact me. That one, your computer needs .net for slash contact is the main one. You can also visit me with questions that you have, comments that you have questions as far as any offers and the like with the links that will be posted and also via Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube at YCN as a Nancy OTLLC05. Two things before we get to day two of purchasing today's devices. One, I had a talk with fellow entrepreneur and also checked out a few things as far as how tasks are done these days of different businesses, different entrepreneurs and the like offering masterclasses because this is the first one I'm offering. There was another name for it years ago interchangeably it would be called workshops you still have people who use the word workshop and those that don't really do it they're calling them master classes now and i had mentioned to everybody what the price was well after some talks after doing some research after doing some thinking i have decided that for the first master class There'll probably be a master class, master class, I should say, slash webinar that the first one will be free. I want to make sure that simple computer maintenance for busy entrepreneurs gets to the masses. Not that it can't be done the other way, but I believe that offering this for free will also be an introduction to those who don't know about your computer needs of Toledo LLC. And it took some thinking, but I'm going to go along with this decision. So I'm gonna need you all to really help me spread the word about this May 7th, 2022 free masterclass on simple computer maintenance for busy entrepreneurs. I'll have more details forthcoming. Let's get to day two. I need to break down everything as far as what you are purchasing these days or what you think you're purchasing these days, but not aware of it. These devices now are going to be one of the following. It could be all the following I'm going to describe. You need to know what you are purchasing. Are you purchasing a device, laptop, desktop, tablet, smartphone, PC, tablet, Android phone, PC, desktop, iMac, iPhone, iPad, Google phone, Linux, laptop, this particular manufacturer's server, that particular manufacturer's drones, whatever the case may be of anything computers and technology. Are you purchasing them new? They're new, hot off the shelf, hot off from the manufacturer or and or the factory where everything is put together to your store shelves or for you to get via the item being shipped to you and on from there. Brand new, new parts, new everything. Are you getting these items refurbished or renewed? What I mean by refurbished or renewed 
it is an older item. They've cleaned out the laptop, desktop, whatever. They cleaned out the hard drives and any other drives that might have been a part of it. They checked everything to make sure it's in working order. They tested everything to make sure it's working order and then put it online or offline to sell. You may see certified, you may see renewed, pretty much the same thing. You may have been noticing that there's also certified refurbished. Let me explain what this is simply. The manufacturer, whoever built this computer, if it's a Dell, if it's Le Leveno, I hope I pronounced it right. If I didn't, my apologies. If it's Apple Macintosh, if it's HP, if it's Canon, if it's Elite, if it's Oracle, if it's any other manufacturer of computers and technology. They're the ones who certify this item. They're the ones who are saying, we are certifying that this refurbished item is in working order. Now, are you getting a device that has been rebuilt? I say this because I didn't, number one, keep it under 10 minutes yesterday. So I apologize for that. The goal today is to keep it under 10 minutes. Let me continue on. If it's rebuilt, it's been taken apart. Things have been checked. Sometimes rebuilt is there are new parts on the inside, but the outside of that device still has the same look. It has that same shell. It's new on the inside, but it has that same look on the outside. Sometimes it's vice versa, where everything on the inside is old, but it's been tested and everything's okay. The outside is not looking so great for whatever reason. So a new shell is in place. So you gain the same functioning device. It's just that the outside looks different. That's what is meant by rebuilt. Again, you either have something new, something renewed or refurbished, something certified refurbished. You have a rebuilt. You also could have it used. You're using a device somebody used to have before, but for whatever reason, they don't need it or don't want it anymore, or they're in the midst of upgrading and updating and all of that, and they no longer want that device. So they're going to sell it to you. They're going to give it to you. There's an exchange from who has owned the device. The previous owner, for whatever reason, is selling it to you, giving it to you, whatever the scenario that's going on. You got to know what you're shopping for. If you don't know what you're shopping for, you don't know what to purchase. Let me mention one more time, any questions, concerns, call or text 2419-304-4564. Click on the contact link of your computerneeds.net. The other links that you see posted, make sure you click on those to reach me. You can also, via social media, reach me, YCN, as a Nancy, O T L L C, the number zero and the number five, to Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. It's a different link but I'll make sure to put it up for Pinterest. Amber Hawkins, your computer needs a Tilio LLC, celebrating year number 17, a computer training more that comes to you. Details about the free masterclass coming soon. Talk to you all for day three tomorrow. Bye-bye.